Hi, in this video I will show you how you can modify existing application. Uh, let's say in Fibery you run your software development project. So you have software development app installed. You have backlog with stories and bugs. You have your work board where you run your development process. But now you want to add sprints or iterations uh, into your development process. And uh, by default you don't have them. So you should um, start uh, from customized domain. Here you can find a software development app. We have releases with the stories and bugs here. And now we should add new type. Let's add iteration. Select some color. Let's say this one. Okay, by default iteration has a name, but definitely we want to have uh, like planet dates for our iterations. Here is it. So th this is our field. And uh, what next? So we have iteration as a separate type, but we want to assign user stories and bugs to iteration. Let's try to do that. So we should create a relation. Basically a relation to a user story. And iteration will have many stories. And story will have only one iteration. And very similarly, we'll add the same relation to a bug. Okay. Here we go. We have all our relations set. And uh, in the left menu, you see a list of all iterations appeared. So it's our like first iteration. Let's rename it. And uh, set some start and dates. Maybe it will be a weekly iteration and maybe add another one and set again dates here is it okay now we want to plan our iteration so we want to see stories and bugs by iteration we should create a new view let's create a new board it will be iteration plan and we should select uh, user stories and bugs and as a columns, we will set our iterations. Here is it. You see a backlog with some stories and bugs. Definitely you want to maybe add some more fields like uh, effort of user stories and bugs and maybe assign persons as well. And you can maybe make it more compact. And let's plan our first iteration. So you can just uh, assign some user stories and some bugs to a first iteration and maybe this will go to another one this we want to estimate let's say it will take uh, 12 points to implement and so on so we have our iterations planned okay maybe you want to add some additional fields to user story let's open it and for example you want to set user story like uh, I don't know, complexity or importance. Let's add new field. Okay, maybe some options like high, medium, low. Here is it. And now I can set importance of all your user stories. Let's say this one will be high. Okay, uh, what's next? Maybe you want to create a chart that will uh, show you a velocity of uh, your user stories, how much uh, effort uh, was implemented in each user story. Let's create a new report. So we'll create a new chart. It will be iteration velocity. And you want to see user stories in box in this chart since these entities can be assigned to iteration. Here is our fields that we have for user stories in box. Well, we want to see iteration here. These are our two iterations that we created. And by default, you see count of user stories and box assigned, but we don't need count, we need effort. Here is it. And change chart type. 
Okay, so we see like six point assigned to first iteration and 14 to another iteration. And now maybe let's color uh, our types. So user stories will be blue and box will be red as you see. And you immediately see that in this iteration you assigned five points of user stories and one point of box. And we can save this report and here is it. So you can access it uh, really quickly. That's it for now. That's how you can modify your application to add new types, set relations, and we in five minutes added iterative development into Fibery.